Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So yung topic natin ngayon is Factoring General Trinomials Where is greater than 1? So sa video ito, ituturo ko sa inyo yung two ways na pag-factor ng general trinomials Where is greater than 1? So yung muna is yung trial and error And yung pangalawa naman is yung tinatawag na AC method So sa AC method, hindi ka na magtatrial and error So sa trial and error muna tayo So example, factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 so, A is greater than 1 siya kasi yung number na katabi ng x squared is greater than 1. Okay? So, ito yung A natin. So, greater than 1 siya. So, yung gagawin natin dito, ipa-factor natin tong A tsaka yung constant. Okay? So, now, ilagay natin yung mga factors ng 2. That is 2 times 1. And then, yung factors ng 6. That is 6 times 1 and 3 times 2. Okay? And then, magta-trial and error tayo dito. Okay? So, gagawin lang natin, itong mga factor ng ating A, ng 2, ilalagay natin siya dito. Okay? Ilalagay lang natin siya ng X. So, 2X and 1X or X. Okay? Yung mga factor ng 2 natin, ilagay natin dito. 2 and 1. And then, yung mga factors ng 6, dito naman natin ilalagay. So, dahil dalawa siya, magta-trial and error tayo. So, try muna natin si 6 and 1. So, positive 6 and positive 1. And then, multiply lang natin. Outer times outer. 2x times 1, that is 2x. And then, i-add natin si inner times inner. So, 6 times 6. Oh, 6 times x, that is 6x. So, dapat yung sum nito, equal siya sa middle term natin. So, 2x plus 6x, that is 8x. So, hindi siya equal. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito yung factors natin. So, so try tayo ng iba. So, natry na natin yung 6 and 1. Try naman natin yung 3 and 2. So, erase lang natin to Then, palitan natin ng 3 and 2 naman. Okay? So, try and error. So, again, outer times outer. 2x times 2, that is 4x. Then, add natin si inner times inner. 3 times x, that is 3x. And then, add natin. 4x plus 3x, that is 7x. So, equal na siya. So, ibig sabihin, then equal siya, ito na yung factors ng ating trinomial. Okay? So, ito na yung sagot. Then, for number 2, factor 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. So, again, first step, factor lang natin yung mga yung a and yung constant. So, so factor natin si 4. That is 4 times 1, 2 times 2. Then, factor natin yung constant natin, yung negative 5. That is negative 5 times 1 and 5 times negative 1. Okay? Then, trial and error tayo. Again, ilalagay lang natin yung mga factors ng 4 dito. So, dalawa siya. No? Try natin yung 4 and 1. So, 4x and 1x or x. And then, ito naman, lagay natin dito. So, try natin yung negative 5 and positive 1. So, negative 5, positive 1. Okay? And then, again, outer times outer. 4x times 1, that is 4x. And then, uh, inner times inner. So, negative 5 times x, that is negative 5x. So, naging minus siya. So, 4x minus 5x, that is negative x. So, hindi siya equal sa middle term. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito yung factors. So, try naman natin. Try tayo ng iba. So, natry na natin to. Ito naman, yung positive 5 and negative 1. So, positive 5, negative 1. And then, outer times outer again. 4x times negative 1, that is negative 4x. Then, 5 times x, that is positive 5x. So, add natin to. Negative 4x plus 5x, that is positive x. So, hindi pa rin siya equal. So, hindi pa rin to yung factors. So, uh, ito naman yung palitan natin, si x naman. So, natry na natin si positive 4 and positive 1. Si 2 and 2 naman tayo. So, palitan lang natin to ng 2. So, try naman natin si 2 and 2. And then, 
outer times outer again, 2x times negative 1, that is negative 2x. Then 5 times 2x, that is positive 10x. So add natin to, negative 2x plus 10x, that is 8x. So finally equal na siya. So ibig sabihin, ito yung factors ng ating trinomial. Okay? So minsan, uh, yung trial and error, matagal siya, no? natatagal lang ka. So, tuturo ko naman sa inyo yung pangalawang method. So, hindi ka na magta-trial and error. Yung tinatawag na AC method. Okay, now, solve naman natin to gamit yung AC method. Okay? So, same problem lang yung solve natin para ma-compare nyo no? yung sagot sa kan nung kanina. So, now, yung AC method, kaya siya tinawag na AC kasi AC, yung first step natin, i-multiply natin yung A at C. Okay? Yung A yung number na katabi ng x squared, yung C yung constant. So, first step, A times C. 2 times 6, that is 12. Okay? And then, yung gagawin lang natin dito, same lang nung ginagawa natin, pag nagpa-factor tayo ng general trinomials, where A is equal to 1. Hanapin lang natin yung factors ng 12, kung saan yung sum niya is 7. Okay? So, ano yung mga factors ng 12? That is 12 times 1. So, kung nahirapan kayo mag ng factors ng numbers, yung technique lang yan is, mag-start ka lang sa 1. Then, 2. So, divisible siya by 2. 6 times 2. Then, 3. Divisible din by 3. That is 4 times 3. And then, 4. Nilagay na natin yung 4. And then, 5. Hindi siya divisible by 5. Then, 6. Nandito na. And then, 7. So, wala na. Ito lang yung factors na ating term. So, ganun lang. Start ka lang sa 1. Then, divide mo sa 2. Divide mo sa 3. Hanggang makuha mo na lahat ng factors ng number. Okay? And then, saan dito yung may sum na 7? That is 4 and 3. Okay? 4 times 3 is 12. 4 plus 3 is 7. So, yung gagawin lang natin dito, itong 7x, gagawin natin siyang 4x plus 3x. Okay? So, 12x squared, gagawin natin siyang 4x plus 3x. Okay? So, ba't natin ito ginawa? Kasi, Mag-grouping tayo dito. Okay? So kung hindi nyo pa alam yung grouping, click nyo lang sa end screen yung video. Meron akong video na factoring by grouping. So ganito lang yung grouping. Grupo lang natin yung first term and second term. Then yung third term and fourth term. And then, kunin natin yung common factor nitong first term and second term. So ano yung common factor nila? That is 2n x. So labas natin yung 2x. So, ano matitira sa 2x squared? So, cancel na yung 2. x squared over x, x na lang. And then, plus 4x divided by 2x. 2 na lang. Okay? So, finactor natin yung 2x dito. And then, dito ano naman yung common factor nila? 3x and 6. That is 3. So, labas natin yung 3. Ano matitira sa 3x? 3x divided by 3 is x na lang. Then, 6 divided by 3 that is 2. Okay, so na-factor na natin to. And then, may kita nyo may common factor sila. x plus 2. So ilabas natin yung x plus 2. Okay? And then, uh, anong matitira dito sa 2x times x plus 2? 2x na lang. Then dito, anong matitira? So tinanggal natin yung x plus 2. 3 na lang. So plus 3. Okay? So, finactor natin yung x plus 2, then matitira is 2x plus 3. Okay? So, ito na yung ngayon yung factors ng ating trinomial. Okay? So, pwede nyo i-check sa sagot natin kanina, sa trial and error. May kita nyo, same nang tayo nang nakuha ang sagot. Then, isa pang example. So, factor 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. Gamit yung AC method. Again, AC method, first step, A times C. So, A natin is 4, C natin is negative 5. 4 times negative 5, that is negative 20. And then, hanapin natin yung factors ng negative 20, kung saan yung sum niya is positive 8. So, again, yung tinuro kanina, pag nag-factor tayo, start lang tayo sa 1. So, dahil negative siya, dalawa yung factors natin. Uh, negative 20 times 1, and 20 times negative 1. Okay? Then, yung 2 naman. Uh, 10 times negative 10 times 2, and 10 times negative 2, and then 3. 
So, hindi siya divisible by 3. Then, 4. So, divisible siya by 4. Uh, negative 4 times 5. 4 times negative 5. And then, 5. Nandito na yung 5. 6, 7. So, wala na. So, ito na lahat yung factors ng negative 20. So, saan dyan yung may sum na positive 8? So, hindi ito. Ito. 10 minus 2 is 8. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, again, yung gagawin lang natin, yung 8x, gagawin natin siyang 10x minus 2x. Okay? So, magiging 4x squared, 10x plus 10x minus 2x. Okay? Minus 5. So, yung 8x, ginawa nating 10x minus 2x. And then, grouping na tayo. Factoring by grouping. So, grupo lang natin itong first term and second term. And then dito, dahil negative siya, so mangyari, paglalagyan natin siya ng parenthesis dito, magiging positive to, okay? Okay? So, ganun yung pag-negative. And then, kunin natin yung common factor. So, ano yung common factor dito? 2x. So, 4 divided 2, that is 2. x squared divided x, that is x na lang. Then, plus... 10 divided 2, that is 5. Then, cancel na yung x. Okay? And then, dito naman. Uh, so, wala na common factor. 2x two, two plus 5 lang. Copy lang natin. And then, may kita nyo, meron silang common factor. So, so, ilabas lang natin tong common factor nila. Yung 2x plus 5. So, anong matitira dito pag tinanggal natin yung 2x plus 5? 2x na lang. And then, minus, so dito, ano namang matitira? So, 1 na lang. 2x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 5, so 1. Okay, so, finactor lang natin yung 2x plus 5. Matitira is 2x minus 1. Okay? So, na-factor na natin yung trinomial. Gamit ang AC method. So, may kita nyo, yung sagot natin kanina sa trial in error, dito din. So, i-check nyo na lang. So please comment below kung nakatulong yung video nyo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video.